This has been my toughest week so far because I struggled with my weight at the end of week three, which was a week ago, was 291. After those three days of heavy cream and smoothies, good thing I have a wife that knows better than me. She called me out and said no. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Woodster72 here. This is my 30-day update on carnivore slash BBBE. This has been my toughest week so far because I struggled with cravings, weight fluctuation, higher stress levels, longer work hours, and just frustration in general when making these YouTube videos. Now at the end of week four on the carnivore slash BBBE diet or way of eating, whichever one you prefer, let's start with the cravings. At the end of week three, I decided to add heavy cream back into my list of items to eat. This was a mistake. Somehow I thought making a smoothie would be a great idea. So I added the ice into the blender, and then I added way too much heavy cream, and then I realized this is probably not going to even taste good. It's probably going to taste like crap. Why? Because there's nothing sweet in it, and that's how my brain thinks. Well, lo and behold, my wife has been drinking a zero-carb protein mix, flavored cookies and cream, and uh, my old self started to shine through and I went ahead and put a few scoops into my smoothie. I won't lie, it was delicious, but this went on for three nights. So it would have been Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I also was putting in heavy cream in my morning coffee. Uh, my weight at the end of week three, which was a week ago, was 291. After those three days of heavy cream and smoothies, it stayed, or it went back up to 295 and it stayed there. I made the quick decision to eliminate it from my diet once again. Around this time, I had some major cravings. So my wife and I, we were looking to go out of town on that Saturday. I originally had plans with a friend, but those fell through and the date got moved. Anyways, my wife and I decided, well, let's go out of town. I already planned on it. Work knows I'm gonna be out of town. Um, and so I was already planning on going out of town and I knew when I was with my friend, I probably was gonna go eat somewhere very good and it's one of my favorite places to eat. Anyways, my wife and I were talking and I said, Chinese is what I was craving for some reason. And I was determined to go eat Chinese. Good thing I have a wife that knows better than me. She called me out and said, no, you are on carnivore and that I would regret it. She told me that. And she'll, she said, you'll wish you didn't do this. And uh, she was exactly, exactly right. I'm glad she was thinking clearly when I wasn't. Um, you can see that in my point of view that just by allowing myself to have some extra heavy cream, um, it almost turned into a big regret. My sugar addiction is still alive and certain things still trigger it. Now, I do know that if I'm not having anything that has anything, anything sort of sweet in it, I do pretty good. And the cravings stay away for the most part um, I do have the occasional, you know, you see something and it does look good. There's a difference between looking good and craving something and wanting it and planning to eat it. Um, so you can see that just by allowing myself to have the extra heavy cream um, and protein powder, it turned into, it almost turned into the big regret. So back to my weight fluctuation. I think the heavy cream and protein did cause some of my weight issues, but I also think my longer work hours and less sleep contributed as well. My stress levels have been high all week due to my job. Uh, we have a lot of changes going on right now and things just aren't the way they usually are. So um, I have a lot of stuff, a lot of deadlines coming and I'm being pushed to work extra hours in order to meet those deadlines and to get things back to normal. Now, my frustration with the YouTube videos, right? Time is very limited right now. And um, I do wanna, the problem is I do wanna stay consistent with YouTube and I wanna be posting you know, I try to post twice a week right now. I know we're only about a month back into this, but that's my plan is to do twice a week if I can, uh, minimum once a week. So this has put me in a rushed state of mind and I end up having so many technical issues. So a couple, for example, is I'll go outside and start recording and I'll record the video and then I realize it's too windy and my microphone picked up all the wind. I've already had that issue. I don't want that issue in my videos. Um, I need to take steps to eliminate that, which would be getting one of them little furry things. I think they call them a dead cat. Anyways, I don't have one yet. 
don't have one ordered. I need to get one ordered. Um, it's on my list. Um, other issues. I recorded a whole video and realized half my head was out of frame. Um, I just get in a hurry and I'm not doing what I need to to make the videos to the my expectation level. I'm not, I'm not able to stay focused right now because I'm in a rush. Like right now I'm on my lunch break. I'm recording my video, but this is one extra thing I got to do to get this video done is I do it before work, at lunch, and after work. Um, and right now I'm working 12, 14 hour days. So minimal time, but I want to stay consistent on YouTube. If you don't know already, if you're new here, I've been around Carnival for about 11 months now, and I went good for two to three months, fell off for the next seven, and now I'm back on it. Um, I was doing Carnivore off and on through those seven months, so. so. Um, let's see, I wanna recap. What were the benefits for me through these 30 days? And I have a video on this already, but I'm gonna recap them for you very quickly. So in the last 30 days, I noticed that I get better sleep. My sleep is deeper. I feel more refreshed in the mornings. Um, weight loss, obviously one of the main reasons I'm doing this is I wanna maintain a healthy weight and be healthier overall. So in my three weeks, I lost 24.4 pounds. And after four weeks, um, we were at 23.2. So we did go up to 292.2 pounds this week, up from 291 last week. Um, skin issues have greatly improved. I have some um, things on my scalp and my leg area where I have what looks to be ingrown hairs. Those all improve dramatically anytime I go away from the carbs and sugar. Um, I'm in a better mood. I'm happier overall um, and more often. Less ups and downs, you know, with the sugar and the carbs. Um, less anxiety overall. So I used to have a lot more anxiety um, having to talk to people, having to communicate with groups of people. Um, just going out in public, I used to have a lot more anxiety. I feel better now and I feel like I'm able to do that more often. So the next thing is no back pain, right? So I used to have lower back pain, especially in the mornings, right when I wake up and things are much better now, and they have been for the last 30 days. Uh, plantar fasciitis, right? Right in the bottom of your foot, right in the arch, it's like a ball. That has disappeared, and it pretty much stays away if I stay away from the carbs and the sugar. Clean your teeth. I have no plaque buildup <clears throat> on my teeth when I'm eating, and I've noticed that when I brush my teeth, it's, you know, there's not a lot to brush off like there usually is. And the other thing that has surprisingly been in my life now is flossing to some of you this may be a little bit gross but up until 30 days ago i didn't floss regularly and it's something i've always been told i should do and for some reason when i started i said you know what? i'm gonna start flossing and you know, i've stayed consistent with it daily every time i brush my teeth if i'm brushing them in the morning i floss so why it took me 29 years to make this habit i don't know but uh carnivore seems to help me do that um, increased energy. I have more energy when I'm at home, um, when I'm at work, when I'm playing with my kids, and when I'm exercising. And a couple more here. Better self-image overall. I feel better about the way I'm looking, the way I'm feeling. Number 11 is minimal hunger and more satiety. I've said this since the beginning. Is one of the biggest reasons I love carnivore is because I feel full after I eat and it lasts for a long time. So as of right now, I'm eating <coughs> beef butter bacon, eggs, and pork chops. And I eat twice a day, usually for lunch and dinner. And then after dinner, I fast until the next day at lunch. And the last one of the benefits of carnivore for me is saving money. Yes, you do save money if you choose to eat a certain way and you choose certain foods. If you're eating more ground beef and you buy it at your local store, for me, I buy it at Walmart for now. I would like to change that in the future, but for now, and I can, I can eat two pounds of ground beef every day. Um, and in a month, it's like $175. Um, I do have another video on this. If you want to see kind of some breakdowns of meals, go check it out. That's all I have on my 30-day uh, update video and how carnivore has helped me and my weight loss update. So I just want to say, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. We're going to keep on doing this. We're feeling great and there's no reason to quit. So I hope, hopefully this is uh, motivational for you. And if you're considering going on the carnivore or going on keto or going on low carb, I hope you do it because you never know when something's going to pop up in your life and you might be forced to do it. Um, that's all I got for you guys. So thanks for watching.